Yes, hello there, and greetings from Ballard. That's for the smell. I'm still Chris Cashman. We are underneath the Ballard locks. You probably didn't realize there is a maze of intricate tunnels. And at 105 years old, there's, well, there's a lot of buildup. So we join the Army Corps of Engineers today to help clean up the busiest locks in the nation. Recreational boats come through, boaters in all states uh, come through and we're able to pass them safely and effectively through this lock. So I'm really proud of the team that works above the lock. I'm really proud of the team that works behind the locks in the machine shops. And then my volunteers that are down here are scraping barnacles down. Well, we scrape barnacles to make it safe for salmon. So when salmon migrate up to their tributaries in the Lake Washington watershed, they pass through the locks twice. Um, once when they're adults and again when they come out as juveniles. Going in a chamber. You know, we have a responsibility to provide safe passage for salmon, and this is one of the ways that we can do that. We are the nation's busiest locks. We do about 50,000 lockings a year. Um, in this chamber that we're standing in here right now, it's um, you know approximately 800 foot long, so we have two chambers, an upper and lower chamber. This thing's always in operation, 24 seven. I mean, middle of the night, we put barges through, early morning, we put barges through, so it's really relied on. Wish you were here. When we close, if we're closed for any period of time, that can affect the industry in the lake. That's around $1.5 billion of economical impact to the industry in the lake. One of the biggest surprises is that the locks operate and that they're gravity fed. There aren't any pumps when you do a locking upstream or downstream. Um, it's just gravity doing the work for us. I'm gonna go in there and scrape myself. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's a great day to get out of the office. 